Hello. So, this is going to be a short run. I'm trying not to rant so much because my brother's finally texting. My brother forgets to put the screwdriver in the window. And if it doesn't, it will slide down when it rains. What did I come out to? Rainy car filled with water. That brings me to the conclusion of why do people care about cars so much? I mean, yeah. I I don't mind a car. It gets me to point A to point B. But I'm not going to sit there and put so much importance into a car. Like, you got some of these dudes who are out there waxing and polishing his car. Wants to make it look good. And I'm just sitting here like, my two crappy doors, one window that goes down, and I'm like... I mean, yeah, I want a different car. I want a decent car. But I'm not going to sit there and go all out, get some 20-inch spinners, get that sound system that like jump, makes me jump in the air. I'm going to get me a sensible car. Here's my pickiness about the car that I want. I want windows that go down. I want air conditioning that doesn't break. Okay? Every car that I have or had had air conditioning for maybe a month and then maybe a month or maybe a week there's no in between there and then it just breaks and we never get it fixed and then usually once after the um when the, um air conditioning breaks the windows break see we had to like take the door off and it costs like 200 for that door and 150 for that door now yeah i want to get it fixed i want to actually um try and at least get it fixed so we can have the windows go down and if I could get the air conditioning fixed I would but it costs money and some people put thousands of dollars into these cars and I'm like if I had a car that I'd get on the point A and point B I'll be happy like I am now I'm good but there are some changes that could be made to this car <clears throat> and there's some people that put so much importance in cars that they don't really need to it's like oh this is a Mustang GT 2018 this is more money than you're worth blah 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 no no if i ever become like if my book sells or youtube jumps off or even if i get a better job that pays a lot more i'm gonna sit there and buy me a sensible car something like a truck maybe like a car like this i'm not gonna go all out buy me a eighty thousand dollar car or fifty thousand i don't know I'm not going to sit there and go out just because I want to impress people. If people get impressed by your car and not you, then there's something wrong there. There's something wrong with people if they rather l look at your car than... Or rather like your car than like you. But the car makes the man. No, the car doesn't make the man. It makes you get a job. It helps you grow to places. Yeah, but the car does not make the man. People put too much importance in cars, and it's annoying. Like, my dad's a mechanic, or was a mechanic. He would fix cars and stuff. He loves cars. To me, I'm not into cars. If he teaches me how to fix them, I'll I'll learn. <clears throat> I'll try my best to learn, because car mechanics, I'm not sure if I'm good at it or not. <clears throat> but, he um, fixes cars. He loves cars. And there's a few cars I like. I like the Porsche. That's one of my favorites. Um... I have to show you in a vlog sometime. It's a Porsche 959. I don't know how I got it. I think I just got it at Walmart, like always. And it's just this little matchbox car. And that's when I started liking Porsches. There's a story behind that one, too. I'll show you that one later. But, I, um, I don't know why people put so much importance in the cars. It's like, the greatest engine revs, vroom, vroom. Or, like, Oh, you don't have windows to go down? Oh, you must be poor. See, they're going to put that poor, rich crap in there in between it all. And that's going to be annoying as well. But cars are not that important. Yes, it gets you to point A to point B. And that should all that matters. It gets you to work and back. Or go get you to do something or go anywhere. No, it shouldn't be, Oh, this is my Mustang GT. No one drives it but me. Um, I get all the ladies with this car. That's, that's not important, people. That's not important. 
As long as you get you to one area, to the other, you're good. It doesn't have to be tricked out. It doesn't have to have the greatest stuff. As long as it runs. And no one thinks about that anymore. It's like, oh, you just have an engine that works. Yeah, I have no doors on this car. I have no air conditioning. I have no flaps. I have no lights. But it gets me to work. Huh, you're poor. Well, I work at a certain place that doesn't pay well, so duh. But they put so much pride in their cars, and it's kind of annoying. Some, I, I'm I guarantee there's some divorces that were caused because of cars. I'm not sure how much. I wonder. Let me look. I don't know if the Google will let me. How many divorces were caused by cars? By cars, no. How many divorces were caused by cars? Sorry, did you want a quick run through of how this works? Oh my gosh. This sucks. Oops. I still didn't get that. Did you want a quick run? How many divorces were caused by men liking their cars? Since I'm still not getting it, let's stop for now. Are you stupid? How to keep the car in divorce? What do you do with the car in divorce? Really? Okay, so Google doesn't help me in that one. I might have to, like, research it and, like, study it and then get back to you guys. But I guarantee there's some divorces that were caused by the guy loving the car more than the wife. Loving the car more than the kids. And that's not right. As long as the car gets you to point A to point B. It should be fine. It shouldn't be all tricked out. I mean, if you want to trick it out, that's fine. Go ahead, trick it out. But don't put it it's so important above everything else. Like, I need to work on my car. I need to polish it. You polished it this afternoon, but it, a bird just crapped on it, darling. I need to polish it. Honey, we have a dinner pro We have a dinner date. Honey, a bird literally took a dump on my car. I need to fix it. You're going to be late again. Can't believe you're doing this again. Honey, this car is important. But I'm important. There's a little skit right there. Um, They put, like, I drive this car because, well, it's all I have. I do want to get a truck one day. Because I used to have one and I loved it. And I'm not going to sit there. If my Well, maybe if I had a little bit of money, I'll go to a... um. One of those car dealerships and actually looking to get enemy a car. But I'm not going to sit there and trick it out. I'm not going to sit there and, like, love on it. I'm going to wash it when it needs to be washed. I'm going to take care of it. But I'm not going to sit there and baby it like it's one of my children. There are some people who do that. Ooh, that's a good one to ask. <clears throat> this might be disturbing. Car fetishes. According to Wikipedia, mechanophilia is a paraphilia involving a sexual attraction to machines such as bicycles, motor vehicles, helicopters, ships, and aeroplanes. Mechanophilia is treated as a crime in some nations with perpetrators being placed on a sex offender's register after- For cars?! For cars?! There's a se sex offender's- Guys, <laughs> I don't know what I just listened to. So, in some nations, you could become a sex offender for sexualizing a car. Well, I mean, if it's in the garage, it's perfectly normal. No, I'm kidding. But see, there's some people who put so much importance in cars that they become... What's it called again? Mm, I can't even pronounce it. Mannequinophilia. I'm gonna redo that. How do I redo that? Car fetishes. According to Wikipedia, mechanophilia is mechanophilia. A involving a sexual attraction to machines such as bicycles, motor vehicles, helicopters, ships, and aeroplanes. Mechanophilia is treated as a crime in some nations, with perpetrators being placed on a sex offender's register after prosecution. So, they put so much importance in the car that they become a sex offender. And it's like, that guy with the Mustang GT goes up to this house. 
Um, excuse me, my phone died. The guy's looking. Who oh, is that a Mustang GT? Um, sure, but no one drives it but me. It's so important to me. Can I touch it? Um, aren't you that sex offender who molested cars? Um, but goodbye! Arrgh! Pulls out, drives away. Sex offender car guy is just running after him. Mustang! Mustang! This vlog got off track so quickly. Oh my gosh. I'm, I guess I'm having fun with this one now. Car fetishes, oh my gosh. Mechanical philia. Oh my gosh. But yes, oh my gosh, I'm just, I didn't know there was this, I don't know what to say about this. Divorce rates because of cars. Here's what I found on the web. Divorce and car insurance. No, 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 baby, no. No, this is not what I want. Do I have to type it in there on lunch or something? Okay, but. I'm gonna end this vlog. I'm a little shocked about the whole sexual attraction to cars thing. But I kind of figured there's something out there like that. But I didn't know you can get, become a sexual predator for it. So be careful, guys. You might become a sexual predator because you love your cars too much. If it's sensible, it gets you to point A to point B, you're fine. But do not love it so much you become a sexual predator. Bye.